We have quite a bit to talk about here, including some heightened tensions in the world. What happens between, you know, 1010 and 11 these two dates, what are we building up to? So that's what we're going to be talking about here. And before we get into that, I do want to give you an update on the personal readings. If you haven't caught any of my other posts, please make sure that you are following this channel, the community posts, because that's where I'm leaving all the updates on personal readings. So last week I opened up <laughs> the readings. Uh, if you guys don't know, I don't just do personal readings. I'm also a writer and, you know, I do videos obviously and editing and I make meditation. So you can check all those out on my YouTube channel. But I opened up the personal readings and what I typically get in about a 24 hour period as far as clients coming in, I got in the first five minutes. And then the next five minutes, maybe not as many, but it just kept compounding. So that within the first 20 minutes of that post going up, I had a week's worth of work. So some of you, as of the recording of this, uh, I'm recording this on Monday the 17th, you're still waiting on your readings. I'll be working on those today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Though I do have a couple more spots. Well, what I, what I mean by spots, it's something that you have to book. It would be that I'd be working on it on Wednesday, but if you get in soon, right? And then I'll keep you posted, like I said, on the community tab. So there's that. And thank you to all my clients. I've had the most beautiful clients who want to come in, make sure they're working on whatever they got to work on to not only take advantage of the endings and beginnings vibration of the 1010 portal, but to get ready for the 1111 portal. I have a live that will happen on 1111. So check out the link for that. But I also have a live happening tomorrow night, October 18th. Tickets are still available for that. Uh, that's in the description box. Always check the description box because I will be putting up new lives. I'll have another one next week. So you can check that out. But the one for tomorrow night will be us sitting down and talking about the one week follow up of this 1010 portal energy. Not everybody had a great time with it. Yes, it's still going on. Okay, it's going to be building up because, you know, it's completion. So whatever you still need to complete, that's going to come up in your face. And a lot of people don't always respond well to that. So they act out. They take their anger out on others, this sort of thing. Why this is so imperative this year is because we are in a six year. From an angel number standpoint, that is the material world. That is the 3D reality. On the downside of it, it's, it can be ego, ego-driven pursuits. On uh, the more positive aspect, it is making sure that you feel stable and safe in your life. Okay. Now, worldwide speaking, it can be the number of revolution. And again, you know, depending on the energy around it, uh, and it can also be the spark of a war. Why is that? It's the material world. It's the distortion in the material world. So if you are working on yourself, you're putting an energy out into the collective. If you feel safe, you're not somebody who feels like you have to go buy the newest anything, which is terrible for the environment, P.S. That's why you will see me repeat outfits all the time. I don't go out and get the newest car. My car is five years old and I'll probably keep it another 10 years so long as it's running. I don't care, right? Um, iPhone, same iPhone. <laughs> you know, I mean, I keep my stuff until it absolutely cannot be repaired or anything and then I recycle it. So, you know, this is all that kind of six energy, which is getting us to really examine or what I'm hearing is take a pulse of where the world is right now. So we're seeing this. That's that instability feeling. That's the tensions rising. This would be people making poor choices. This is also exposure. This is where we're seeing a lot of people who have been doing a lot of horrible things getting exposed. This can also be really looking at social issues again, belief systems, all of that. I can go on and on. This is getting us prepped for next year. So every month you have a repeating number, okay? 
and I'm going to start really going into the energy of those repeating numbers. Just the state of the world that we're in, I think it's important that we stop and look at that. And, you know, every month we're going to have some, I don't know if it's necessarily you want to call it a portal, but like you're going to have some intense energy, whatever label you want to put on that. But we're getting geared up for a seven year next year. The seven year from an angelic standpoint is, and I think this is numerology as well, but introspection, um, learning the deep internal lesson, understanding a deeper happiness. So it's going out from the, you know, the 3D world and going, okay, it's sort of like, all right, that happened. Okay. Now we're processing it. Now we have no choice but to find our peace. We have no choice but to start looking at what we have just pretended wasn't there. We, we need to find that inner peace. Um, this is an archangelic number. This can um, indicate, it does indicate, that you are very supported and you're being uplifted by your angelic team. There is some confusion around, um, and I want to bring this up because I want to... It's not scheduled yet, but I'm going to see if I can't do a live about being an angelic human or the angelic self. There's a lot of confusion around humans becoming angels. What frequency, what dimension would the so-called angelic self be? We'll get that information out. These are important times, very important times. And the reason why I think so many clients came rushing in for the 1010 portal to get their readings. Yeah, maybe it was they wanted to take advantage of good fortune. But I think also uh, none of us want anything to get worse than it already is. <laughs> you know, so I think a lot of people were going, all right, I don't need to carry this heavy burden and not be prepared to handle what might happen on the world. Or I can't keep operating from this lens that makes me think that things like abuse is normal. We, we have normalized that. Absolutely. People don't even see things as abuse anymore. Or maybe they never did. I don't know. But we're, we're turning the tide around that. It's going to be messy. Yes, you're going to have people who want to play victim and lay down and scream and holler for help just so they get all the attention. Okay, that is something, that's a game, okay, and that takes away from people who actually need the help, all right. So this is, this is such a, an interesting time, and I would say here in October, at least for the next week or so, enjoy it, enjoy it. Now, I'm not saying doomsday or anything like that. But humans do stupid things. <laughs> I don't know if anybody told you, <laughs> but, but um, the stupidity level is going to rise. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I've been saying for the longest I'm going to do a November, you know, energy check, if you want to see it that way. I'll put that out there. But the energy around November feels dark. It feels very dark. And it feels like survival. It feels not in the, like... When I say survival, it's kind of like what we had to do over the last two years where we had to adjust. We couldn't just uh, go along with how we're used to doing things. And I just, I wrote to my sister and I told her, <laughs> I feel this energy coming up. So in my infinite wisdom, I, I ordered a little beginner's knitting kit. I'm going to learn how to knit, I guess. We'll see. I haven't even opened it. It just came. Uh, and I, <laughs> I'm going to start turning my own butter. And I told her, I said, I don't know what exactly that's going to do for me in a disaster. But there you go. That's what I'm doing. My contribution to the world, if it's falling apart, will be, I don't know, making pot holders or something and butter. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I got this all worked out. But let me, <laughs> but if nothing else, it's going to keep me mentally sane. Unless I hate knitting or I realize that churning butter is... Um, insane you know maybe it is maybe 
Uh, but we want to, and I'm, I, this part of me I'm very serious about, please get used to, well first, okay, hold on, they're telling me. <laughs> first, um, this energy right now is very good, okay? It's lovely, it's light. You're gonna see people acting out. That's a whole lot of their problem, none of yours. Uh, working on your own, your own, your own energy, um, not to be pretentious and be like, I'm above it all and blah, 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 but really processing, taking time, making time for things that you love. Uh, astrologers weigh in. We have an eclipse. Do we have an eclipse? An eclipse, right? <laughs> if you guys don't know, I'm not an astrologer. Um, so check with your favorite astrologer. There are many good ones out there. And use that as a compliment to these angelic messages that are coming through. Uh, the reason why I think, is it the 25th or something like that? Is that this week? No, next week. Anyway, point is that I'm feeling this energy of it. It's something snaps closed. And that could, for you on a personal level, have to do with this endings and beginnings kind of energy leading up to an 11-11 time, which is ascension. It is, for some it's going to be, I hate using the word test, it's not only really that, but it's seeing if you really got the lesson. So some people go, oh, 11-11, that's good fortune, it's manifestation, it's uplifting, Nah. <laughs> I think that it falls into the category of not necessarily misinformation, but incomplete information. If you're somebody who bumbles along in life and you're an energy vampire, you think you're the only one that experiences anything, you're going to have a bad time. Ooh, life's going to hit you hard. And you're going to yell more and you're going to play more of the victim and the whole thing. And then all the empaths are going to be like, oh my God, I'm going to help you. Yeah. You know, <laughs> or it could be okay, I'm, I'm in that space now. Now I've learned uh, maybe to not hold myself back. Maybe I'm feeling now courageous to state my opinion where I couldn't before. I didn't feel like I had my voice. You know, that's how it can work out for certain people. Again, you know, if you want a personal reading with me, angelsouls444.com. It's in the description box below. As of, the, as of the recording of this, I am setting up work for the rest of this week. Please make sure you are checking back on the community page of my YouTube channel for updates. I didn't say this at the beginning of the video, but I had people come in after I, it was on October 8th at a certain time that I put up the announcement saying, hey, I can, you know, I can take on readings right now. And there were some people who put in their requests like, I think three or four days later, three, two days, three days, something like that later and going, oh, so I'll have this today then. That. <laughs> so <laughs> just make sure you're paying attention to all of the updates. I will be, you know, very good about making sure you know as best as I can without like completely shouting out, you know, your whole name, um, you know, who's next and all that kind of stuff. So <sighs> getting ready, getting prepared, enjoying this time, um, make sure you get outside if you can do so safely this is the other thing that's going on all right um, people are in a power surge kind of moment and what i mean by that is if someone's barely holding it together for whatever reason and they feel like the world is out of control they may try to regain their control by overpowering people in their life um, or trying to overpower people they see as vulnerable. And that, that can go to extremes. If you are in law enforcement, Archangel Michael oversees all of that. And I would even say, um, listen guys, okay, so listen up. I'm getting chills as I say this. Please pass this along to anybody you know in law enforcement, the military, uh, EMS workers, doctors, nurses, pay attention, okay? We love you, we're with you, all right? Um, especially I'm thinking like nurses that, you know, and, do and doctors and EMS workers, like you, you're probably still exhausted from the past two years, so please make sure you're taking care of yourselves. This will not be nationwide. I'm in the United States but you can take this for wherever you are in the world. 
Here in the United States, it won't be nationwide, okay? But I want to fill this up before I say it. Hold on one second. All right, they wanted me to go back to the law enforcement. So we have to be careful. I'm sorry, this is going to be a long video probably, but we have to be careful um, that obviously people are going to be acting out. So there's going to be a whole lot of, you know, having to handle that. But then there's this other message that's coming through, and this one's been coming up for a while. If you guys don't know why I'm putting this up on a Monday, I get hit with a migraine late. It happens every once in a while. It's not that big a deal. Every couple of months I get, I get one. Um, but I get hit with a migraine over the weekend. And um, I have, I have stuff to help me with the pain, but it doesn't take away the other symptoms. And one of the symptoms I get is I can't talk. I can't get words out. So <laughs> that would have been really funny if I tried to oof, guys would be like, what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> but one of the messages that was coming up even over the weekend was how we want to pin societal problems based on physical traits. And the message that they're bringing through very strongly is that it does not matter who you are on the outside, what you look like, what your beliefs are. It's about the dark energy that's been allowed in. So what they're saying here is that it's what we already know, but we're not letting it sink in. We know that people can be dark or unkind or worse, no matter what. So no one's a saint. No group of people are saints. Everywhere you go, there's going to be corruption. There's going to be someone who's let the darkness in. And us trying to handle our societal problems through division, about the dumbest thing we could ever do. They didn't say that. I said that. Okay. <laughs> it's about the dumbest thing we could ever do. And focusing on very, very, very minute things to come at each other, argue about jumping to conclusions about one another. And then acting out based on that. That is going to get us into such deep trouble. Now, if you're saying, Michelle, go back on the EMS stuff, what, what, you know, Hawaii already experienced a major scare. This was a few weeks ago. And I'm getting chills as I say this. So, and I say that to give you, that's my confirmation. So I want to pass it along to you. If you were in Hawaii when those sirens went off a couple weeks ago, share your experience down in the comments. If you know somebody who was there for that, share your experience. That is an important part of the message we're trying to get across here. We are protected. We could get, um, some people might see this as really weird talk, but um, we have other guides that are absolutely here, have been here, uh, getting closer to us. Um, we're the ones that keep pushing them back out. So they can't, for some people, can't get through. Um, there, there's just a whole bunch coming up. There's going to be a lot more about quantum healing, um, frequency. I know I have been guided to do more and more meditations around sound frequency and using that like Solfeggio to do meditations. I already have a lot of those up. The 1010 portal one I put up, you can use that anytime. I mean, you know, do, you do whatever you think is right. But they're standing here like uh, uh, the angels, these guides, you know, they're standing here saying, we showed up. Now we need you to do your part. We need you to do the work. Some of it is so deeply ingrained in us, we're not going to know how to handle it. You know, for the longest I've talked about narcissism because I've dealt with it in my whole life. Okay. So... I feel like I can speak on that. I'm not a psychiatrist. I'm not licensed in that way, but
but I'm not an idiot. I'm a total nerd. I sit and read psychology stuff all the time. It doesn't make me an expert, but <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Um, <laughs> but, but you know, I, I've, I've learned to come through that and it's so devastating to see people who you know are good, but they're still getting sucked in by the darkness. They're still being attracted to because they feel helpful and they get some sort of charge out of feeling helpful by going in and trying to be there for somebody who might be cruel to others or use others or what have you, okay? We need to figure it out. We need to figure it out. And, you know, another great example, if you've been following anything on social media, TikTok has become huge. I know some of you have a huge opinion about that, but that opinion that you have, that applies to a lot of things that you are in fact using. That, that fact that you have behind TikTok applies to a lot of things. Are you off all of those things? You can't be. <laughs> you wouldn't be here, right? So I'm on TikTok uh, over there. I'm Angel Souls 444. Uh, I've been trying to post some more stuff over there, but TikTok has become a platform for people just like YouTube was to come out and inform us what's really going on on the ground, like what is really happening out there. Okay, so we know certain, I got, I want to speak up, but these, we're under a lot, we're under tight control here, guys. And please don't like, oh, go to this random, you know, platform and start all over on another platform so you can speak freely. Do you know how people are actually going to follow me over there? Not many. People just stick here and they go to TikTok. I got to go where the people are. I have to speak the language that everyone's comfortable with. And that's just going to have to be good enough for now. That's, That's just where we're at. So one of the, obviously there are things going on all over the world that I want to speak on. Um, And my love, my love, love, love to all of you. Um, And then, you know, the thing I guess we can talk about is another issue that's very near and dear to my heart. Obviously children. There's a lot of information about that. But also women's rights and uh, women waking up to horrible behaviors. Waking up to that. And I've said this once, I'll say it again. The only time a statement like that's going to bother you is if you're a part of the problem. And that's not saying you have to agree with me or you're wrong. I'm not saying that. But if you get riled by that, it triggers you. There's something to look at there. Because why would it be such a a weird thing to say, hey, everybody should be treated like equals? No one should have to emotionally regulate you when you're angry and and throwing your fists around or throwing items around. It's a very real thing for a lot of us. I'm not going to stand down, and I hope you won't either. Those are the kinds of things that we are contending with at this time, okay? There's so much more. I've got other videos I can make at some point. <laughs> Okay, so I, I, want, I want to pull this one out right away. It was right at the bottom of the deck. And it says, you are safe. It's Archangel Michael. So Michael's been coming through here and saying you are being protected. But, you know, if you're somebody who's just being selfish, like you're, you know, you don't really care about the collective energy that you're putting or the energy that you're contributing to the collective. <sighs> Wait until November 11th. Wait. Okay. I feel like some of you say, what's going on in November? Um... Choices are happening. Now, these are free will choices done by humans um, affected by dark energy. So the reason why I'm not going to sit here, some people can do this, okay? They can tap in, uh, you know, get their message too. You know, there's nothing wrong with listening to how everybody's bringing through the messaging. But angels don't actually do anything that could offset or push a situation over the edge. They don't interfere with human free will. So they give us, uh, okay, here's the temperature here. Here's what you're walking into. Here's what we're doing. What are you going to do about it? Right? And we need to change our energy to make sure we're putting love and peace. And that doesn't just mean like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, check this little meditation off my list for the day. 
No, you live it. That means you're not entitled. That means you're not judging other people. It means you're not gossiping about other people and talking down on them. It, it means that you're not the one gossiping and then turning around trying to throw somebody else under the bus to be the scapegoat and then everybody goes attacking them instead of attacking you for gossiping. You feel me? It's going to come back on you, 100%. So there could be choices made, um, free will choices made in November that could cause destruction right now I feel like it's close like very close and um, you know if you're if you're somebody to bury your head in the sand you're probably also somebody who thinks there's nothing wrong with narcissistic behavior that it's somehow cute that there's nothing wrong with people treating others oh that's just how it is you do whatever you want but don't drag other people down with you. Okay. So this is Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. And that's the thing. This idea of the lower frequencies. Um, I just realized I got my camera pointed up really high. <laughs> Maybe I'll crop that in a little bit. Sorry. Um, anyway. And, and protecting your home. So this is um, guarding those that have love in their hearts who care about people other than themselves. Life review. It's Archangel Jeremiah. So Jeremiah typically is known for helping you with your life review and you cross over to the other side. We can do that in the physical world too. You are safe, but there are going to be things that you hear, see, experience that make you stop in your tracks. It's the kind of thing where... Suddenly all those things that you thought were so important mean nothing. Okay. This puts our lives in check. This puts our lives in check. And what's interesting, we've had one moment after another where we're being asked to wake up. What do you care about? Well, two years ago, people cared about toilet paper. And they fought one another. Somewhere on my YouTube channel, I have a video where it's, it was in my car. I had just gone to Target to pick up a few items. This was right after, I, I, we'll have to see what date that was posted, but it would have been early 2020. And I, it's a very genuine reaction of before we knew just how things were going to go. But that's what people cared about. Take inventory. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. There are going to be practitioners out there. Every practitioner has their role, their, you know, way of receiving messages. And if they're coming from a good place and they have a pure heart, then yes, value what they're bringing through. And some practitioners are here to help keep you calm. Others are here to give you the heads up. Others are here to challenge the way you think. All of it's valid. All of it is meant to complement one another. And this is probably the best time, if you haven't learned to appreciate that, to figure it out. So you can hear someone say, hey, here are the aspects. I'm thinking of like astrologers, you know, they're going by transits and, you know, all of that. So they can give you some bit of information around that. Um, and then, you know, there, there are other people who channel beautiful messages and they have a very uplifting, um, feeling like you're getting a spiritual hug kind of energy. They're beautiful too. And then if you come here, it's going to be a mix of those two things where it's like, okay, we're, we're going to get through this, but we need to check ourselves. We need to look at um, what is the veil that we operate behind and how, what's the next step? What do we need to be processing as we go on this journey? The Michael card coming out and saying you are safe and then the Jeremiah card coming out and saying life review. I'm going to pull more cards here. 
But I'm going to tell you right there, those two energies, it might be a situation that feels too close for comfort. There's something that's man-made and there's something, there are things that are natural. There are also things that seem natural, but they are man-made. Regardless, at every turn, there's going to be pressure on us to really wake up to what's important. And if we can't do that, we'll continue to keep manifesting power struggles. Again, check with astrologers, but I believe that Mars is going retrograde at the end of this month. And, you know, I'm not trying to, <laughs> I'm not trying to like be down on um, some of the newer channels. Some of them are really fantastic. But there are others where people have been out there for a very long time. They have really, you know, honed their craft. They're very good at what they do. Why don't, why don't you go listen to them? Okay. I'm talking some of the ones that may have gotten up here in YouTube 2010 to like 2014. And it feels like there was a little bit of a drop off after that where it was just like everybody wanted to come out and make money. They saw it was trending and getting trendy. And so just, again, watch who you're listening to. So we have two cards here. The first card here is Victory Archangel Sandalfin. Okay. Your prayer, he's all about sound, healing, frequency, and I brought that up. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So things are not going to seem great. Right now they're okay. But, you know, from now, well, in the next couple of weeks until the end of the year, it's going to seem... Like things are all over the place. But instead, instead of freaking out, um, some people around the world, the freak out's going to be there. Okay? They, they can't avoid that. They're in the middle of it. Um, but there, there's going to be a good outcome. All right? And then the next card that came out with that one is Beloved One Archangel Shamuel. So Shamuel is about love, loving one another. Yes, this could be romantic love. Uh, but this is in a bigger context here. Shamuel's about us reaching our potential and being connected in a pure, loving way with one another. Not where we're trying to just add each other to our collection of friends. Not so we're just trying to have a love partner because there's a stigma around being single. But really knowing what a spiritual connection is with another human now this is i'm helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship again there are going to be people out there like oh well i know my my spiritual person partner is coming back and whew, it's not going to go well okay because yeah there are going to be a lot of supposed soulmate love partners who haven't spoken to you in years and probably treated you awful, right? Coming back and claiming that they're healed and all that. But really, um, they're feeling the pressure of the world around them and they want comfort for some of you. This could not be a clear message of it's time to come together. It's time to love and respect one another. Stop jumping to conclusions about people because of their outward appearance or their beliefs or whatever, because darkness lurks everywhere. It's about being a good person, <laughs> right? It's about, and not just intellectually going, well, you know, I show up for people when it's a big deal, but I can treat them any way I want any other time. I know lots of people who do that. Or they claim, you know, I'm such a good person, you know, I, I'm religious, I do this, that, and the other, and yet they're doing some really crazy things behind the scenes and being cruel to people. The Michael energy definitely talks about protecting your energy as well. All right, okay. Desiree, no conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and uh, ask the angels to... There's an example of me not being able to speak, right? Uh, the angels to help guide and comfort you. Whenever this card comes up, it's, everything's been stripped away. 
And I'm just going to be in forward motion because I don't know what else to do. It is a weight card. It is... I want to set... There's a crystal here, sorry. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> it's just sitting right here in front of me. Um, some of you are not going to know what to do with yourselves. You're not going to know what to do with yourselves. Um, for some of you, I feel like this is... I'm going to talk to the single people for a second. Like, If you have been one of the ones who's like, you know what? I'm not dating until I see some serious change in this world or I'm not going to put myself in, in this sort of situation, that sort of situation. Um, that's okay. Then this takes on the meaning of I'm going within, I'm, you know, working on myself. I'm processing my emotions. I'm observing. Um, I'm allowing myself that time, right? For others of you, I don't have a good feeling about this. I don't. I feel like some of you are rushing. Oh God. Okay. I know exactly what that is. Some of you, you're seeing the things that are going on in the world and you're like, oh my gosh, I, I just need to be with someone just to be with someone. And you go into these relationships and you're learning that there's a huge toxicity problem and you maybe let your fears overtake your senses and you end up in a situation that's where well, you're way worse off than if you were just on your own. Here's the thing. I've been single a long time by choice. And whenever I go somewhere, I'm never alone. I'm never alone. I went to go pick up a breakfast order one morning and I'm just standing there waiting on my order and people sitting at the breakfast bar struck up a conversation with me or somebody else who is waiting on their food says, oh my gosh, I love your outfit or I love your lipstick or, you know, what? <laughs> and they start up a conversation. By the way, side note, has nothing to do with anything. Have y'all tried to go to a Trader Joe's on a Saturday about an hour before they close? It's like a pickup spot. I, I went into Trader Joe's around that time looking wrecked. And still, it was more fun than going out. <laughs> it, it was fun, flirting and stuff. So there you go. There you go, singles, if you care to, right? But, um, you know, there... <laughs> Sorry. But there, there is this thing of people kind of darting into situations because they're afraid of being alone. So there's a big message around that as well. Uh, can you, can you, uh, you know, retreat within yourself? I just posted on my personal Facebook page. Uh, I had a memory from back when the pandemic was going on and there were all these people, and I knew this from the work that I did, all these people who felt very isolated and they felt isolated before that because maybe they came out of abusive situations or um, they had abusive families and so they had to disconnect from that and they're trying to process, they're trying to heal and then this thing hits us and they feel even more alone and even more unsupported. And I was by myself during that time too. And I got a lot of hate on my channel for this and boy was it telling. But there were a lot of people who Let's just say they're social extroverts. And I'm going to have to air quote on that one because most of them are energy vampires. But they were the ones coming out and going, oh, my God, oh, this is torture. I can't, I can't, I can't be alone. Oh, I need people. And I had posted something also back then on my Facebook page. And I had um, a lot of people come at me and in a very demeaning kind of way. And it really showed their narcissistic nature, that this is only happening to them. There's no care for anybody else where that could have been a cry for help. And then people supporting the person that's lamenting the most, the one that's screaming the most. So everybody fawns over them. Meanwhile, the people who are really hurting, but they don't believe that anybody will support them or love them and that they've just got to do everything on their own, they're getting faded even further into the background. That's a perfect example of social conditioning. You must be fine because you're being quiet. It's the quiet ones you need to check in on. Not the one who's over here kicking and screaming and having a tantrum because they can't feed off of people right now. 
I'm telling you this because that is a repetitive lesson. And even a lot of people now are not going to get get that. They're they're going to still double down and claim that they're right. We'll see. What side of history do you want to land on? That's what it comes down to. So this has been the longest video ever. I think it's going to be like 40 minutes. It needed to be said. Leave your comments down below. If you want a personal reading with me, you want to work on this stuff, angelsouls444.com. I am doing my best. I know these are very important times. I'm doing my best to get them to you quickly. Check the community page. I'll let you know when it's like, okay, you're not going to get it within three days right? or what have you. Please make sure you are subscribed. If you value these messages, if you value the work that I'm doing here, please make sure you're sharing it with others. Liking the video gets it out there for others. It helps support me so that I can do this work. And of course, joining me on my lives helps out a ton and it gives us a chance to interact with one another and, uh, you know, to expand good energy. Always check the description box for the latest on that. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're feeling. All right. And uh, that's it. I'm going to go on to the dailies. I love you. It's going to be all right. We are going to be all right, but... You don't get to skate through this. None of us do. <laughs> we're not in for it, but yeah, we're don't don't go. God, when's it going to be all over with? And when can we just get? No. You signed up for this task. Now we got to do it. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.